few seasons ago, we showed you our olive oil cake, and it was a huge hit. And one of the best parts was the combination of olive oil and lemon flavor. The olive oil really highlighted that lemon from a little zest that we added to the mix. Now, here to present more of that olive oil lemon combo is a tart. And Erin, now you're not the tart, the dessert is the tart. Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're gonna make a lemon olive oil tart because the lemon and olive oil go so well together, but you can't just swap in olive oil for butter. Right. And I'm gonna show you why. Okay. So we're gonna start with our crust. We are gonna start with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna add five tablespoons of sugar and a half a teaspoon of table salt. Okay. Anytime you bake, you always wanna add a little bit of salt. That really brings out all the flavors of the other ingredients. So I'm just gonna whisk this together until it's combined. Now it's time for the fat. We're gonna use a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, and you really wanna use a high quality olive oil, really fruity in flavor and a little grassy. So early on in the testing, I tried this one recipe that called for 10 tablespoons of butter, and it yielded a beautiful crust. So I used that recipe and I swapped in 10 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, and what I wound up with was dough that was really greasy, and when I actually baked it, it had no structure whatsoever. Okay. So after thinking about it a little bit more, I realized butter is not 100% fat like olive oil is. Right. Butter is 80% fat and 20% water. And that water is actually really important here. That water is gonna mix with the flour and create just enough gluten to give our crust structure. And so I actually dialed back, and I'm gonna use eight tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and two tablespoons of water. And this water, again, is really important because it's gonna add just enough structure to our crust. And this is the easiest crust you are ever gonna make in your life. And I can already smell the olive oil. Can you smell it? I can, Very absolutely. Yeah. Don't forget, olives are a fruit. Mm -hmm. So putting it in a dessert is not that crazy. Okay, so we have our dough. I'm basically just gonna visually kind of divide this into quarters. So now I'm just gonna crumble three quarters of the dough into our tart pan. What we're doing here is we're gonna make a pat in the pan crust. There's no rolling involved, there's no chilling of the dough. You just make the dough, you put it in the pan and press it in. Super simple. Anytime I make a pat in the pan crust, after you kind of get it in place, you can use the flat side of a measuring cup or a right. glass. I like to be one with my dough and I like to feel it and make sure that it's all very even. And no better way of doing that than just kind of feeling it with your fingers. That is looking pretty darn good to me. And I'm gonna take the remaining quarter. I'm just gonna sprinkle this. I'm gonna break it up and scatter it around the edge of the pan. I'm just gonna push them into the sides of the pan. So I'm pressing in and I'm pushing up. My thumb stops it at the top and makes a nice clean edge. And my finger is really kind of making sure that it's not too thick. All right, so now I'm just Great. gonna go over it one last time and make it all even. Beautiful. I'm gonna put it on a rim baking sheet and we're gonna bake it at 350 degrees on the middle rack for about 30 to 35 minutes. I'm gonna rotate it halfway through so it bakes evenly and we're gonna bake it until it's deep golden brown and firm to the touch. Okay, Bridget, so our crust has five more minutes in the oven, so that means that it's time to make the filling. All right. All right. Okay, so we are making a lemon curd, and we wanted a really nice, bright mm -hmm. and balanced, sweet and tart at the same time. Not too tart, not too sweet, we want to gotcha. perfectly balanced. Not lemonade. Exactly. So we're gonna add one cup of sugar. This is our sweet. And we're gonna add two tablespoons of flour. The flour is gonna help to temper the acidity of the lemon juice, mm -hmm. and it prevents the curdling. Gotcha, it okay. interrupts that process. It does, yes. And we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt. Again, you want a little bit of salt. So now I'm just gonna whisk these together. And we're gonna move on to our eggs. So I started this recipe off using six eggs, six whole eggs. And it gave us a beautiful curd, and it was just like the best consistency, but it had a very eggy flavor. Mm. The sulfur compounds are found in the egg whites, and so we're just gonna use three whole eggs and three egg yolks. And that flour that I added is really kind of supplementing the structure that we're losing by losing those three egg whites. I gotcha. Okay, now I'm just gonna whisk this all together, and I'm gonna get into the corners, and I want it to be fully incorporated. All right, so often lemon tarts just have lemon juice. We wanted a complex lemon flavor, and so we're actually gonna add a tablespoon of lemon zest, and we're also gonna add a half a cup of lemon juice. This is actually something that we had to dial back because when you make a curd with butter, that butter really kind of tempers the lemon flavor. And I like acid, but this was really acidic. Now we're just gonna whisk this until it's combined and work this over medium low heat for about five to eight minutes until it is starting to thicken and also until it reaches 160 degrees. So we knew from the very beginning that we wanted to make our lemon tart with olive oil, but what really surprised us is that when we use the olive oil, we could use less lemon juice and zest and yet still get more lemon flavor. And here's why that works. 
The perception of lemon flavor happens when the lemon's acidity hits your tongue, while at the same time, the lemon's aromatic compounds rise into your nasal cavity. The brain then combines these two sensations into a single perception of lemon flavor. Butter and olive oil affect this process differently, and it's the proteins in the butter that play a big part. If we look inside a tart made with butter, we can see that the protein binds with the acid and traps the aroma compounds. So when you eat that tart, you can't taste as much of the acidity and fewer aromatic flavor compounds rise into your nasal cavity. This mutes the perception of lemon flavor. Olive oil, on the other hand, doesn't contain protein. So more of the acid and the aromatic compounds are available to provide flavor. And that's why olive oil allows lemon flavor to shine through better than butter. Here you go. That looks beautiful. Mm. Thank I'm you, Bridget. I'm gonna put a little towel here just to remind, to remind you that it's Thank hot. you, very smart tip. Okay, so I have been whisking constantly for the last about seven or eight minutes. We're gonna cook this to 160 degrees. And there we are. Yeah, you don't wanna go much more than that because you're gonna end up with lemon scrambled eggs. We don't want that. No. We've come this far. Okay, so let's get this off heat. And now we're gonna add a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. Mm. Again, it's very high quality. And I'm just gonna whisk this in. Again, oh, it smells so good. Mm. Now I'm gonna strain this. I'm basically straining it to remove the zest okay. that is in here. Find my strainer, will capture every little bit of zest. Get every last bit. So now, like the key to this recipe is having a hot crust and a hot curd, both of which are already cooked. So now we're gonna put this back in the oven for about eight to 12 minutes until the center is just set and jiggles just slightly. All right, let's take a look. All right, ready for that, see that jiggle? Oh, a little right jiggle. In the center? Yep. Yes. It is ready. It's good? Yep. All right. Mm. So we're gonna let this cool for about two hours. Okay. Bridget, it is that time. It's cooled two hours. Isn't it beautiful? It's like sunshine. It might be the it prettiest is. thing I've ever seen. It just makes me happy. It yeah. does. Okay, so now we're gonna remove it from the tart pan. Release it from the bottom. I'm just sliding a thin metal spatula, just going around and around. All right, now I like to get really clean slices. We've come this far. I just wanna make sure, so I'm just gonna wipe my knife in between slicing. So now I'm just gonna cut some wedges. Look how beautifully that's sliced. That is Isn't that heaven? stunning. It slices like butter. It does. <laughs> All right. Oh. Beautiful, isn't it? This is gorgeous because it's just pure lemon. It's so fresh and so bright. It really is fresh. Yeah. You're right. And it's not too sweet. I feel like there's often lemon bars or lemon tarts are, can be way too sweet. And that subtle flavor of the olive oil, I don't miss the butter. I don't miss the butter either, and this is me you're this talking is. to. And look how beautifully it's sliced. Beautiful. And how easy was that to make? Was that not the easiest tart you've ever made? Yeah, the hardest part was the two hours of waiting time. I know. <laughs> well, to make this lemon tart, it starts with an olive oil press in the pan crust that's baked until brown. For the filling, whisk eggs and yolks into a sugar and flour mixture, and then add lemon juice and zest. Cook until thickened, whisk in olive oil, strain, then pour into a hot shell. Bake until set, cool, slice, and serve. So from America's Test Kitchen to your kitchen, the easiest, simplest, and sunshiniest lemon olive oil tart. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.